those properties na matter to identify substances and to separate them. Sir Boyet. Properties of matter. Any traits such as a material's density, color, mass, volume, length, malleability, melting point, hardness, odor, temperature, and many more are properties of matter. There are two classifications. We have physical properties and chemical properties. And now, let's talk about physical properties. Physical properties. Physical properties are characteristics by which we can describe the physical properties by just observing with our senses or by using measuring apparatus. In these properties, no change in composition takes place during the determination or measurement. So, a physical property is something that you can observe without changing the composition of matter. When one or more physical properties of matter change, it is said to have undergone physical change. We have two classifications, intensive and extensive properties. Now let's talk about intensive properties. These properties are independent on the amount of matter or substance. The values of these properties do not change whether the amount of the substance changes. For example, whether you have one glass of water or a pitcher of water, the taste of water does not change. And whether you have 10 grams of pure gold or 1 kilogram of pure gold, the color of the gold does not change. Examples of intensive properties are color, taste, solubility, boiling point, density, luster, hardness, freezing point, specific gravity, and melting point. Now, let's talk about extensive properties. The properties that are dependent on the amount of the matter or substance the more substance we have, the higher will be the values of these properties. For example, the more water you have, the greater its volume. And the more substance you have, the more is its mass, the heavier the object is. Examples of extensive properties 
are mass, volume, length, area, weight, width, thickness, and height. Now, let's talk about chemical properties. Chemical properties can be observed only when the material undergoes change in composition, usually accompanied by a chemical reaction. A change in composition occurs during the determination or measurement of these properties. This property this basically tell you what will happen to the substance if the substance reacts with water, with air, with fire, with acid, or with electricity. A chemical property is evident when a substance reacts with another substance. For example, iron slowly corrodes or rusts when exposed to air or moist environment to form iron oxide, the reddish brown rust. Change in composition of material is known as chemical change. Examples of chemical properties are flammability, combustibility, toxicity, and radioactivity. Comparison between chemical and physical chains. Chemical chains and we have physical chains. A new substance is formed with a new set of physical and chemical properties in chemical chains. While in physical chains, no new substance is formed and only the intensive properties of the substance chains. In chemical chains, it involves heat exchange, while in physical chains, may or may not involve heat exchange or chains. Examples of chemical chains, burning of wood and electrolysis of water. Examples of physical, we have melting of ice and crystallization. Now, let us recall properties of matter. We have physical properties and chemical properties physical properties are classified into intensive and extensive properties intensive properties are specific gravi gravity color melting point boiling point solubility, luster, freezing point, density, hardness, and taste. Extensive properties are mass, weight, thickness, length, 
volume, height, area, and width. Chemical properties are flammability, combustibility, radioactivity, and toxicity. Now, let's practice. A. Classify the following examples as physical or chemical property. So, in the other side, we have physical properties and we have chemical properties. It is soluble in water. It is physical property. It reacts with hydrochloric acid. It belongs to chemical properties. It is solid at room temperature. It's a physical property. It melts at 389.8 Kelvin. It is physical property. Milk curdles in vinegar. It is chemical property. Copper metal oxidized in hot air. It is a chemical property. Sulfur is a pale yellow and brittle. It belongs to physical properties. Nails rust in the presence of oxygen. It is chemical property. B. Classify the following examples as chemical or physical chains. Now we have physical chains and chemical chains. Melting of ice. It's a physical chains. Digestion of food. It is a chemical chains. Evaporation of water. It is a physical chains. Disappearance of mothballs. It is a physical change. Ripening of fruit. It's a chemical change. Burning of wood. It's a chemical change. Drying of cloth. It's a chemical. It's a physical change. Rusting of iron. It's a chemical change. B. We have C. Rather, classify the following examples as intensive or extensive property intensive properties and we have extensive properties density it belongs to intensive properties volume it belongs to extensive properties Boiling point, it belongs to intensive properties. Color, it is a, an intensive property. 
size it is an extensive property weight it belongs to extensive properties odor it is an intensive property mass it is an extensive property solubility it belongs to intensive property properties with it belongs to extensive properties thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos update thank you